from Lina channel and today I want to uh, do a really quick video to share with you about um, all the different ways to address people especially your family your really good friends or your boyfriend and girlfriend um, in a sweet way in the really close way you know instead of like saying um, uh, this is my family you can just say my farm uh, or if instead of saying um, uh, this is my mother which is a very formal way then you can say this is my ma or my mom so there will be 15 different ways for you to address your family members or your relatives or uh, your close friends or your loved ones so let's get started the first one I want to show you is all the slangs we can say slangs because um, it's the um, realistic way of um, communicate it's, it's not how you do in writing it's not how you do in academic way but this is um, the way that you actually calling people talk to people in real life and I have a little family tree here so for you to see sorry I'm not much of a drawer and a painter so I just want to make it you know easier for you to imagine instead of like just writing words then it's pretty hard for you to uh, memorize it so yeah just you know just a thought of making it a little bit more fun so here we have your grandfather your grandmother uh, they have three kids two girls and one boy and all of them got married and have kids as well uh, the first couple then they have a girl sorry about drawing again the second couple they got a boy and the couple in the middle which will be your mom and your dad they have three kids a boy a girl and you so imagine this is you so I draw here a few arrows which will indicate of the way that you call each members in your family so for example here uh, your younger brother or your brother then instead of saying your brother you will say bro so this is my bro he's my bro um, and your sister then you can say my sis um, if she's younger than you, then you can call my baby sis. See, it sounds so cute already. Um, same with your mom and your dad. You might want to call them ma or pa, or you can call them pop, my pop. If he's a little bit older, then yeah, my pop and my ma. Uh, same with your grandma and grandpa. Uh, you can call them my grams and my nan, or you can call my nana or my granny actually gra grandma they have a lot of different words to use so either nana granny grandma or nan and the two little kids here then they are your cousin but in the sweet way if you're really close to them then you will say cuz so you can say hi to them like what's up cuz or you can say here's my cuz that's it for family and now let's go to the friends part how do you call uh, your good friend or your best friend uh, we're going to separate into two criteria one is for guys and one is for girls actually for girls it's not so much words girls we use only the word girl to call each other uh, we will say what's up girl um, how you doing today girl hey do you have any plant today girl um, you look good girl so basically we're using only the word girl however for guys they do have a lot more words I have no idea why, maybe they're more talkative than us. So they use really often two words which is dude and uh, fool. Um, they're going to use like this, it's the same like girl, um, what's up dude, um, hey where were you yesterday dude, uh, do you have any plan next week dude? Or the word dude they can actually use in um, kind of like uh, uh, a way to show their feelings to show their emotions like something is really cool happening they will say dude that's awesome or something that horrible that a friend did it to you you will say dude that's not good so that's what dude but fool is actually more close like um, they can use it like a girl can use it for a guy a guy cannot use it for a girl okay a girl can say fool where you've been but a guy cannot do that to girl so only using it for guys and you know like two good friends can talk to each other like that as well like uh what's up fool hey you want to come and hang out at my house today fool and the two other words that guys sometimes they use as well is the word homie and bud bud is short for buddy if you are my uh 
sport buddy, then you know we go into watch sports and discussing about sport all the time. So that's buddy means we do things together a lot. Homie is used for uh, a person that you know a really long time and they are from your town uh, and they and you hang out with them really often. So you will say that homie, like she's my homie, like she's from my town, she's from my home, she's my homie. Right? What's up, homie? So yeah, those are the words that you use with friends. Now let's go to the words that you use with boyfriend or girlfriend or your lovers. Actually, there are a lot of words that you can call your boyfriend or girlfriend, but I'm just going to show you three popular ones. Uh, the first one actually is not really popular, but um, it has a really, really romantic meaning that I really want to show you. Uh, it's the word babe. It sounds like babe, like baby, but you say only bae. Bay, like my bay. Bay is actually an acronym for uh, before anyone else. That means uh, your boyfriend always put you first. He always thinks of you first and he always takes care of you first. So you come first before anyone else. So it, it's, oh, I, I don't know, I just love the meaning. But anyway, that's the word bay. The second word that I want to show you is the word honey. You know, honey is, is so sweet and you know, you must love someone a lot to call them honey. But um, sometimes they're just saying the short version of it, which is hun, hun. So when you say in the sentence will be, what are you doing today, hun? How, how's your day, hun? Hey, hun. Uh, can I ask you a question? Oh, it sounds really sweet and you don't have to say the whole thing and it sounds really close. And the third one is really, really popular in, you know, teens or um, hip-hop songs or uh, in America, I think, uh, is the word boo. Well, boo, they have a lot of meanings. You know, if you go to a game and then you don't like um, um, a team or they play really bad, you will say boo. <laughs> but also, if you're playing with the kids, then you can say like peekaboo, peekaboo. So that's also boo. But when you're using the word boo with your boyfriend and girlfriend, that it means like he's like he's my bear, he's my cuddly bear, he's my teddy bear. Like like it, it sounds so cute and sweet. And you will say like he's my boo, she's my boo. There you go. Those are like 15 sweet words that you can use to address your loved one like your family, your best friends or your partners and if you like my video as always please subscribe and also don't forget to send me any request of what you want to see next. Alright, I see you next video. Bye!